Hi, folks. I'm going to try to uh, record one more example problem using Coulomb's law, but solving for something different this time. Uh, last time we were solving for the uh, electrostatic force between two charges, and now I'd like to solve for the, um, the distance between two charges. If we're given the force and we're given the size of the charges, could we solve for the distance? All right, so a different application of um, Coulomb's law. I'm gonna try to get my head out of this picture. No, well, maybe I'm not gonna do that, but I am gonna tilt this down so that I can uh, so that I can draw on my tablet. Okay, so let's do the example of uh, two charges where I know the size of the charges. I know how much charge there is, and I know the force that's experienced. So let's say this charge, maybe it's a metal conductor that has some extra electrons on it. And let's say the charge is, I don't know, five times 10 to the negative six coulombs. Um, so that means it's lost some electrons because it's got a positive charge. And let's say this Q2 has also lost some of its electrons and it's got a positive charge of how about eight times 10 to the negative six coulombs. And if they've both lost some electrons so that they're both positively charged, I know that the force is gonna be pointing away. And so now we have to choose a size of the force. So what do you think how about a quarter of a Newton. So F E is equal to 0.25 Newtons. Electrostatic force is equal to 0.25 Newtons. So given the charges and given the um, size of the force, can I find the distance between them? D, can I find that distance? And so that's what I'd like to do, all right? So I'm gonna use my Coulomb's law Fe is equal to k q1 q2 over d squared. I'm just going to plug in everything that I have and solve. So 0 0.25 is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9 newton meter squared per coulomb squared. One of the charges, 5 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. The other one is 8 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs, and last but not least, divide by d squared, which is the thing I don't know. Um, so I can solve, uh, I can multiply these three numbers on the top first, 0 0.25, that's a newton is equal to, but before I do that, let's pay attention to the, the units. And so I've got newton meters per meter squared on the top, and then on the bottom I've got a coulomb squared, but coulomb squared and coulombs and coulombs will cancel. And so that's going to leave me with a newton meter squared on the top. And so 9 times 10 to the 9, using my calculator, you could calculate with me because you know sometimes I make mistakes. 9 times 10 to the 9 times, 5 times 10 to the negative 6 times, 8 times 10 to the negative 6. And I get point, point 0.36. So 0 0.36. And again, that is a newton meter squared over d squared. So there I am. So now what do I do? Well, this 0.25 newtons is really the same as 0.25 divided by 1. And that, and if you think about it that way, you could cross multiply. So 0.25 newtons divided by 1 is equal to 0.36 newton meter squared divided by d squared. Cross multiplying, multiply those, and then multiply those. And what you'd like to do is solve for d squared. And so if you do that, you get 0.25 newtons times d squared is equal to 1 times 0.36. So 0.36 newton meters squared. So then I can see that d squared is going to be equal to 0.36 newton meters squared divided by 0.25 newtons. And look at those units. I love it when the units work out that way. Okay, so I'm going to get a number that has a unit of a meter squared, and that makes total sense to me. And so 0.36 divided by 0.25 gives me 1.44. So d squared 
is equal to 1.44 meters squared. And the last step is to take the square root. And so I get 1.2 D is equal to 1.2 meters. All right. And so there is a problem where I use Coulomb's law. I know the charges. I know the force. And I can solve for the distance. All right. Take good care.